In this video, we are going to summarize all the multiplication tricks that is found in Mr. Ong Math lesson. So get ready and if you can memorize some of them, that will be great because you do not need any calculator for your multiplication. So the first multiplication we're going to learn is multiply by 9. So the multiply by 9 by 2 digit is quite simple. So the first thing you need to do is the first digit, 37 times 9, you're going to increase the 3 by 1. So 37, 3 increase to 4. The next step you're going to do is that you are going to minus 37 by 4. 37 minus 4 is going to be 33. And the last digit, they must add up to be a multiple of 9. So 3 plus 3, the last digit has to be 3. Because 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, and that is a multiple of 9. Okay, now we do the second example. Okay, 58 times 9, again, we're going to increase the first digit by 1, it's going to be 6. So 58 minus 6 is going to be 50. Two. Now we are going to take away the last digit. The last digit is going to be a multiple of 9. So 5, 2, 5 plus 2 is 7. The next digit is to be 2. Because 5 plus 2 plus 2 is going to be 9. It's not necessarily 9. It, could, it has to be a multiple of 9. Great. Good. Now we're going to multiply by 11. 11, you guys should be familiar with this, okay? So what happens is that 27 times 11, 2 and 7 remain. And then just add 2 plus 7, so the answer is 297. Okay, so 325 times 11, the same. 3 and 5 remain. So you add 2 plus 5 is 7. 3 plus 2 is 5. So the answer is 3,575. Okay, now multiplication of 12 okay it's slightly different from the rest 12 and 13 the same okay so just listen carefully so the when you multiply by 12 1 to 4 by 12 the first number remains so 1 remain at 1 okay then we start from 1 so 1 multiplied by 2 which is 2 plus the next number which is 2 so 2 plus 2 is going to be 4 then you look at the next number 2 2 Multiply by 2, which is 4. 4 plus the next number. 4 plus 4 is going to be 8. And then you go for the 4 now. 4 multiplied by 2, 8. And there's no other number. So the answer is 1,488. So we shall do 241 times 12 now. Okay, so 2 will remain because the first number will remain. Then we're going to start with 2. 2 times 2 is going to be 4. 4 plus 4 is going to be 8. Okay. Then we look at the second number, 4. 4 times 2 is going to be 8. 8 plus 1 is going to be 9. And then we look at the last number, 1. 1 times 2 is going to be just 2. 2,892. For 13 is the same. Instead of multiply by number by 2, you multiply by 3 plus the next number. Okay, great. Good. Now we shall look at two-digit multiplication. Okay, now we are going to multiply two-digit numbers where the first digit is the same, so 6 and 6 are the same, and the two second digit add up to 10. 3 and 7 add up to 10, so 7 and 7 the same, 8 plus 2 is going to be 10. So this is a very simple trick, uh, it's a very useful trick. So what you do, you take 6, multiply by 6, you add the 6 by 1, so 6 by 7 is going to be 42. You increase the number by 1, 6 by 7 is 42, and just 3 times 7 is going to be 21. 4,221. Next, we are going to do 78 by 72. So instead of 7, you increase by 1 to 8. So 7 times 8 is 56. And then 8 times 2 is 16. Okay? So this is very useful, fast multiplication. Okay? Okay, now we are going to multiply two-digit numbers just less than 100. So both of them are in the 90s. 96 times 95 and 98 times 97. So what you do, you're going to put a number that makes up 100. So 96 short by 4. So 4 plus 96 is 100. And 95 is 5. 5 plus 95 is 100. So what you're going to do, you're going to cross multiply. Okay. So 96 minus 5 is going to be 91. Or 95 minus 4 is 91. So the first two digits is 91. And the second digit, just multiply 4 by 5. So the answer is 9,120. Okay. Great. Now, now we are going to 
Yeah, that's right. Now we are going to multiply 98 to 2 to make 100 and 3 to make 100. So you're going to cross multiply. 98 minus 3 is going to be 95 or 97 minus 2 is 95. 2 times 3 is 6, so 0, 6. Okay, great. So now we are going to multiply the number 6 shortcut is the multiplication of any two digit numbers okay there are two ways of doing it okay we one is called cost multiply and the other method is called the rainbow method it's the same method so the first one you take three times one is three okay then you are going to cost multiply four by one is four two times three is six so four plus six is ten so zero carry up one and the last number four times two is eight plus one the answer is nine hundred and three if you do the rainbow method, which is exactly the same, so you take 3 times 1 to give you 3, and then you do the rainbow. 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 1 is 4, you add the number 4 plus 6 is 10, so 0 carry up 1. And the last step, 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So this is exactly the same method as this, just that it's presented in a different way. Okay, now we do the next example 63 times 54 the same so 63 times 4 3 times 4 is 12 carry up 1 okay then you're going to cross multiply 5 times 3 is 15 6 times 4 is 24 15 plus 24 is 39 plus 1 is 40 0 carry up 4 and the last one 6 times 5 is 30 plus 4 the answer is 3402 okay if you do the rainbow method you take the last two digits, 3 times 4 is 12, carry up 1, and then you're going to the rainbow. 3 times 5 is 15, 6 times 4 is 24, add them up, 15 plus 24 is 19 plus 1 is 40, 34, 39 plus 1 is 40, carry up 4, so 6 times 5 is 30 plus 4, 34. So the answer is exactly the same as the, the other way. Okay? Okay, last but not least, we are going to learn the multiplication of three digit number just more than 100. This is the easiest of the lot. So 105 times 106, so you just add 6 to this number. So 105 plus 6 is 111, and just take 5 times 6 is 30. And last but not least, 107 times 109, add the 9 to this, become 116, and 7 times 9 is 63, and that is how you shortcut is doing seven different steps, seven different methods. And if you can master five or six, that will be great. So have a good day, everyone, and see you soon.